Node-RED is extremely flexible software, and that's in both its programming capabilities as well as what hardware it can run on. In this video, I'll be taking a look at why Groove devices are the best place for you to run your Node-RED server, especially in industrial automation applications. I'll be talking about five main topics, and they will be your security and user accounts, your system information and logs, your project management, the Node-RED implementation itself, and finally, a bit about the hardware. So let's get started. So the first thing with security is that you can see as soon as you try to get to anything on your Groove device, it is HTTPS. So you know you've got a secure encrypted connection always. We do have this one set up with a certificate, so we're nice and secure right off the bat. The other thing is that we do have user accounts. You have to log in with your username and password to get into anything on the Groove, uh, including Node-RED. And there's no default set up, so you know it's nice and secure. Let's sign in, and from the Groove Manage homepage, you can see that you can manage all of your different pieces of software on the Groove. Before we go into Node-RED, let's take a closer look at those accounts. We have both onboard accounts as well as LDAP users. And if we go into the onboard users and select add, you can see what we have control over. If I just create a quick user here and give them a temporary password, you can see that we have full control over their permissions. We can lock them out of all of the software and we have fine control over Node-RED specifically. If we come into here, you can see that we can block access for this user entirely allow them just to view the Node-RED dashboard user interface, or allow them to be a full editor of our flows. Let's select Dashboard UI and select Save, and there we go, we've added a new user, super easy, just like that. If I select this user and scroll down to the bottom, we can see that it's very trivial to delete this user from the browser without affecting any of the other users, the Node-RED runtime, without having to use the command line or edit any files, it's all very straightforward here. Now, before I move on, I should note that it is possible to secure Node-RED on any other uh, hardware or uh, cloud service as well. It just is very involved. You can see you can enable HTTP access, but you will have to edit some files, provide your certificates. Uh, for username and passwords, you have to generate the password hash. And just in general, it, it does take a lot of steps to get all of this squared away. But on Groove devices, this is all taken care of for you. Uh, you don't have to worry about it at all. So just a really convenient implementation right here. So now let's take a look at our second topic, and that is your system information and login. You can see that we have full control over the runtime. We can disable it, restart it, track the number of restarts, as well as our resource usage and uptime. Now this memory and CPU is specifically for just Node-RED. It doesn't consider other things running on the device. And this is a great way for you to tell how efficient or inefficiently your flow is running. This is a great way to just track how your flows are going. The other thing you can use to see how your flows are doing is to use the Node-RED console log. And we expose that right here in the browser. And this is the most recent 2000 lines of that log. It's really easy to view it right here. We can download it to this computer. Uh, it's very accessible. So there's our uh, system information and logging. Now let's talk briefly about the project management. You can grab your flows.json and this is like exporting your flows through the Node-RED interface itself. You can also get your credential files, but something extra we have on Groove devices is this entire project backup and restore. So this is going to include not just your flows and your credentials, but also your nodes modules folder. This means that all of the nodes that you have installed can be backed up as a part of this entire project. So this is great for if you want to wind back to a previous version, perhaps a node update uh, breaks some functionality for you, or perhaps you need to move all of this into an offline device. It doesn't have access to the internet, so you can't install the nodes there. But if you put your backup there and restore that to another device, it's going to bring all those node packages with it and you'll be ready to go. Really nice to have this feature, not only for uh, commissioning new devices, but also for version control. So now let's talk about the Node-RED implementation itself. If I open up the Node-RED editor here, you can see that this interface just looks like Node-RED. And that's because it is. We don't make any special changes to Node-RED to run it on Groove. It is pure Node-RED. You can see we have all of the core nodes installed over here in our palette. 
We also have, if we come up to the top right here, we can go into manage palette. And if we have access to the internet, we can install new nodes. It's all just typical node red. So while it's a really great implementation, there's no changes we make to make it uh, incompatible with, with any of your flows. Also, to make this Node-RED integration uh, work really well with our hardware, we do have community node packages that you can install that make it really easy to communicate with all things Opto. So this includes your pack strategy access with these uh, pack control nodes, as well as your Groove View data stores, and finally, uh, Node-RED Groove IO, which works great for both Groove Epic and Groove Rio for you to read all of your channels and modules very easily. We have other videos that go over these in much more depth uh, that you'll see linked in the description below. So it's a really great implementation of Node-RED without changing it uh, at all truly. And we have great nodes that you can use to communicate with your hardware. So lastly, let's talk a bit about that hardware. These are industrially hardened devices. So they, they run really well out in the field. They've got UL certification as well as a great warranty. They're also power fail safe. So unlike a Raspberry Pi where losing power and getting it back again could corrupt your SD card or break all sorts of things, you can trust that these will come back online safely. And they also have dual network interfaces. So if you want to have, for example, all of your uh, machines on site connected to a secure network in one port that doesn't have access to the internet and then a separate port to communicate to cloud servers and things like that it's very easy to do that with your Groove Epic and your Groove Rio so this really is ideal hardware for running your Node-RED server and that covers uh, just some of the basics but if you want to learn more we have our website our forums at forums.opto22.com and our developer site all linked in the description below I hope you found this helpful, and as always, thanks for watching.